Hey YouTube, so in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about Casino as an example of a really common struggle that you might have with your dog. And that is that she really values variety. Like she didn't read the Border Collie textbook and she's like, actually, variety is very important in my life. And that is from kind of every angle. So even down to her recall, if, if she liked her recall, but her recall happened in the same way every time, then you kind of start to see that she didn't really maybe respond in the same way. She didn't really maybe value um, coming back in the same way. And she'd start to just pick the environment instead. So what I'm gonna be showing you is actually five different ways that I might end my walk with Casino so that actually she repeatedly comes back consistently time and time again, which if she had other options, she may not choose to do. So the first way that I might end a walk with Casino is the good old fashioned middle. So break. So I might do a little bit of middle. I might throw out again. Hi. A little bit of middle. I might throw out again. A little bit of middle. Then maybe we go out again. Hi. Good girl. And so that might be one way that I work to recall her or, or get her in after a walk. The other way that's really, really straightforward is is I might call her in to me and I might just hold on to her collar. And I, I do this in front of the TV on a night as well. I might call her in to me, hold on to her collar. I might, <laughs> I might call her in to me, hold on to her collar. Call her in to me, hold on to her collar. Um, and I'll do that kind of frequently throughout frequently throughout the walk and also to finish that walk. Again, adding in that layer of variety that she's looking for and she kind of gets even more excited. If we mix up the process, if we change the way that we're doing things, everything kind of has double value. Now, the next way that I might, you really like that bed, but I put you on this one. Yeah. You're not such a fan of this bed. Um, the other thing that I like to do with her is actually almost like a jump into my arms or a jump onto my lap. So throughout the walk, and especially at the end of the walk, I might, for example, go and then uh, reward her. I might again go and reward her feet in my arms. I might throw out and <laughs> and feed again. And that's just, again, another way that I might use. So we're on three, and already we've got multiple different ways of how we might call her back. Now, the other way that can be really useful, and it's less about kind of catching her and more about bringing her in and letting her go again, is actually to do a bit of leg weaves. Now, I don't know if leg weaves is something that you've ever done before, but I can, um, I can show you how to train it. And it's great for all dogs, unless of course you've got a giant breed dog, in which case then it's probably not so useful. But it looks a little bit like this. So we bring them round, we feed. We bring them round, we feed. We bring them round, we feed. And then maybe you might start to link it together a little bit more. And then I might just let her go again. And then I might go, might go back to doing some collar holding. And that then might, oh nice, that then might become a, um, a bit of middle, for example. And what we create is a dog who actually doesn't mind um, being picked up, doesn't mind being put back on lead, doesn't mind being held. And, and I think sometimes what we do is we get a little bit stuck on, on what might be the most effective thing to do, or we get a little bit stuck on what might be the thing that has worked in the past. And as we use that more and more, I know, I know you're wild today. As we use that more and more, what we find is that actually it starts to work less and it starts to work less and it starts to work less again. Um, and it's something, it's something that over time becomes almost like punishing to your dog. It becomes something that isn't so fun at all. Now, the final one that I'm going to talk about, and it's one that she's not really good at, so we're going to kind of work through this and see what happens, is her putting her paws on me. This is not something that naturally she's ever wanted to um, do. She's very much like a standoff kind of dog, be over there kind of dog stalking things. You read the Border Collie textbook in that respect. But, but what I might do is a little bit just on a, you know, in front of the TV or, you know, if there's a dry patch of ground on the walk, can you put your, yes, can you put your front feet on me and get that close that there's almost that clear, 
clear decision to put her front feet put her front feet on me. This is, you know, I understand that some of you won't want your dogs to put your their feet on you. For a dog, for a dog like Casino, where they've got where they've got that kind of desire to be away, it can just be a really clear way of, of getting them to come in close and then being really clear about what's expected of them and what they should be doing. So whether it be middle that has that clear boundary, um, has that clear boundary of you stand between um, my legs in that middle position, whether it be jump into my arms, where again for Casino it's really clear she's got to actually be on my lap, jumping up and getting that lap wherever it might be. Whether it be putting front paws on or whether it be me holding onto her collar and, and licking me and um, what you get is a dog that really understands what their what their job is what the goal is what the what the recall really means and where the value really is which um apparently is everywhere today you're quite wild um, and that is how we add variety to the recall to get it even more consistent Remember Game Changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25 day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content and free training using the links in the description.